Today we're going to talk about something that is absolutely terrifying if you breed horses. And that is pneumonia in foals and the potential for rhodococcal pneumonia, which is what they call the silent killer. Lucky me, I actually have an example on my own farm today. A little background on this horse and how we discovered that she had a problem. Most foals are gonna show no symptoms until it's too late. So if you do notice a problem, foals can go downhill so fast, contact your vet. Say, hey, just wanna give you a heads up. This is what I am seeing in my foal right now. Should I be concerned? In our case, Weatherman said it was going to be a beautiful, sunny, 70 degree day. Let's just say I, when I came home from the uh, horse show and I looked at the temperature on my truck, it said 87 degrees. I came home to a horse with heat stress. Very heavy breathing, very raspy breath, like <gasps> I, I can't even make the sound. It sounded like there were bubbles in her and she every time she brought it just it was very raspy sounding step number one that we took took her temperature she was 103.5 if i remember correctly cold hosed her down and within 30 minutes to an hour we had her temperature fully under control happily in the 101 range where i would like to see a baby full still seemed like she was breathing a little rough but it's now nine o'clock at night this is not something I'm like, she's gonna die by morning. Being that I came out the next morning, temperature still fully in check, but still had that little wheezy raspy sound in her throat. So we immediately called the vet when they opened in the morning and said, hey, come out and take a look at our foal. We ultrasound. So if there, you wanna know a difference between a normal pneumonia and a verticocal, is they're going to ultrasound. So they clipped her and they put an ultrasound on and from the best they could tell, she did have some lesions, so we're treating it this as it's uh, a rhodococcal pneumonia. The only way to know for sure is if they slit her trachea and do a wash and collect that fluid and um, have that cultured to find out exactly what kind of pneumonia she had. Starting treatment quickly is ideal, so we opted not to sit there and send the horse off and do a trach and a, you know cut and wash. That was. No, let's just go with plan B. Plan B was go get the drugs we need and start treatment immediately and treat it as if it is urticacus. And we went from there. Holy treatments. Let me go get these drugs. We're on clarithromycin, rifampin, and sulcrophate. And because they are so hardcore antibiotics, sulcrophate is to keep the stomach from, oh, I don't know, trying to kill itself in your horse. Your good old yogurt to compact the stupidity all these drugs are putting you through. I'm gonna go set these down. I'm gonna come back with this one, the clarithromycin, and we'll talk more about that. It is something that needs to go in the mouth and no touchy-touchy anything else. If your foal has this in their mouth and they go to drink off a of mom, they could give mom such a severe case of diarrhea that she could die. If you're not keeping up with your probiotics and your sulfate, that you could kill your own pony with this stuff. This is nasty. <laughs> My vet recommended hiding it in a bran muffin. Um, no, they make this tool. This is a pill popper. Actually, this is a bolus dispenser for goats. <laughs> So goats need copper, you put the copper pill in there, you go boop, and you've just given it. But this works great for baby horses. And you go boop, here, I'll sit there, try not to, it's got a spring, bink. And that way you can get it right in the back of the mouth and not have to worry about it. It's not gonna touch your teeth, and they're not gonna chew it. We administer the two antibiotics with the pill popper and the sulcophate actually will dissolve in water very quickly and very fast, kind of like your SMZs. So, it, I mean, you can put it in a little bit of water, poof, it's gone. So I will use this cool tool. Your vet will probably give you like a 60cc syringe or even a 30cc syringe. Get yourself one of these because this is fully reusable. Um, it is a drench gun. I'm going to put all the links below. So if you need this, this is what I keep in my emergency kit for everything. It's awesome. 
the pill popper is in my emergency kit, and this is in my emergency kit. So if you have to give meds to your horse, buy mouth, buy one of these, don't use that stupid syringe. You're going to thank me, immensely thank me. By the way, it actually is graded. So you could pick up 15 cc's of water, put it in a little container, put your pills in there, mix it around to the dissolve, and then I'll suck up or put a couple of spoonfuls of yogurt in there, mix it all up, suck the yogurt up in this, and pop it in the mouth, and away we go. And we wait. I go and muck a stall. Baby just sits there for probably 10 minutes while I'm mucking out a stall. Come back, use the same gun, rinse it out with water, rinse her mouth out with water. That way all of that is out if there's anything lingering. As I said, if they nurse, and they have any of it in their mouth, it's gonna cause problems for your mare. It is a four week process. Yes, a month. And guess what? Your pony needs to be on stall rest and bedded on straw so they don't accidentally inhale any more dust. And right now, we're gonna show you Miss Tallulah. We're gonna bring her in and do our whole course of meds and show you how baby does it how I do it, and we'll go from there. So this is Tallulah. You're going to want to take your pony's temperature two times a day. The reason why you're doing this is to make sure that those antibiotics are not doing anything naughty, and to make sure they're actually working. So we want to have her temperature. She likes to be hmm, 103. 100.3 that is, to about 101. She usually likes her happy, what I call her radio station is 100.5. She likes the classic rock channel, don't you? So we're gonna take her temp before we get her all riled up. You always have your thermometer and a healthy container of uh, Vaseline. She just helps the process go better. Let me stick it up her butt, let me wait. She is 100.8. She's such a good pony. So first up is our clithromycin. As I said, this is the naughty one. This is the one we don't want her to chew on because it can cause issues if she nurses and gets it all of her mom's boobs. So I'm gonna get this on top of the tongue. I'm gonna push it back all the way until those two little finger hook things get all the way touching her lips and a quick little boop. We're just gonna inject that pill and you can't chew on it and it's in your mouth. Next up is Rufampin. It is a red gel pill. This one, this one she's naughty with. She just caught on that I'm putting this in her mouth. She likes to chew this one and it makes it look like her mouth is blood red when she does. Same thing, corner of the mouth. I'm gonna push it all the way back until those, yep. can I have it, little girl? I'm pushing it back right to her mouth gets to here, so you're getting as far back as you can, trying to get it right in the back of their throat so they can't chew on it at all. Sometimes she's smart and she chews the red pill. You're a little matrix on me, aren't you? Next up, we taught her how to drink out of cocktail glass. Now, I put my 15 cc's of water in here and I'm just, I'm letting circle fate oh, I'm letting it dissolve. It dissolves pretty darn quickly. You wanna drink that? No, I don't think so. Our glass says, Dear Santa, define naughty. Naughty. Naughty is letting me have to take care of you so much. Yes, it's naughty. Here's the good thing about having to do this to your pony all the time. Look at how good she is in cross ties. I do this all by myself, and cross ties are awesome. You don't bite me. Next up, I put some yogurt in. It's like a chef is preparing it. So we just, you know, we stir it around, we let them smell the aroma. Like, oh my gosh. The Greek yogurt has more um, probiotics in it than regular yogurt. And this little princess here, she says she likes the uh, the vanilla the best. So we mix it up and we're gonna suck it back up into here. 
This is her favorite. Come back up with that. I usually keep my hand on here because I'm picking up the corner of her mouth. Stupid dog. I usually keep my hand on here. I pick up the corner of her mouth. And it's like I'm trying not to get it too messy. And then we squeeze it in and she goes, why didn't you tell me it was yogurt? It's so good. The other reason why I end with this one and don't start with it is because she loves it and it makes her happy. And this is the end of our good session. The last one I give her, I mix up a little extra water just so I can get everything out of there. So it's a little more drippy than the first one that I gave her. Sometimes she rinses her mouth out with it, but we'll see. Most of the time you eat it like a cookie. Awesome. I love that. Okay, there's a little red on here, which tells me she chewed on the red pill a little bit. You did, you chewed the red pill. Now we wait. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna go clean their stall. She's gonna stay right here in cross ties the whole time. Um, I'll show you a little video of our whole entire process. <laughs> and we'll come back when we're done. is to rinse their mouth out to make sure there's nothing else in there. Again, my little magic squirty tool is gonna help us in this. Just water and I'm gonna do it until it goes clear. This last step is Tulu's favorite. And this is where we wipe off all of her mustache. And she loves it. This is her favorite part. She absolutely loves it. And then once we do, we let her play with the towel. You like the towel? Yeah. You shake up the towel. Got it? <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Once it hits the ground, it's scary. But once you pick it back up, it's a toy. And since you're stuck on stall rest, this is fun. This is fun. Because they are on, because they are on stall rest, make sure you give them a lot of attention. Don't treat them like a human or they get bitey. If they bite you, bite them back. Give them um, stimulation. So toys are fun to play with. I put in a big exercise ball. We go and we do simple training. Like we pick up all four feet and we yield the hind quarters. We yield the four. There's a lot of things you can do with your pony to make them solid citizens while they're doing this whole medication fun. Stall rest doesn't have to be a scary thing with a foal. No, no it doesn't. We make you guys pretty. And you're good girls. You're good girls. Her mom says it's time to go. Bye!